can see it running. This piston here is the hot side. Burner is down below, heating it up. There's a passage in between that goes through that block. And there's a cold side over there. And air moves between the two cylinders and causes it, the expanding air from heat moves between the two cylinders. If the air is completely enclosed, that is heated and cooled, shut, shuttles back and forth, and that makes the crankshaft go, which in turn powers the fan. The four blade brass fan is six inches. The squirrel cage is a little over seven, I guess. It's about 11 inches tall. Uh, it's a beautiful model of a Stirling engine that makes it completely understandable. Uh, and it's not awful loud. I think it'll quiet down after it runs a little bit, maybe. It runs on 190 proof grain alcohol which in the United States is a little on the expensive side because of our tax system. Other places in the world, it's dirt cheap. But uh, I won't run it all the time, and even when I do, it won't, it won't burn a lot. This reservoir is only about a quarter of an ounce, and it transfers from the reservoir through a tube that's underneath the platform up to the little burner, which is yonder. Cute little alcohol burner. So much for that. From uh, Engine DIY. I think Sterling Kit also has them. I have uh, Shenzhen, Guangdong, China, which is just on the mainland side of Hong Kong. Took about a week to get here. $129. I'm having a lot of fun with it.